Today I'm going to be making something really, really easy, and these are potato croquettes. And what I have here are two potatoes, and these are russet, okay? And what I did was I scrubbed them down, I baked them in the oven for an hour and a half, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I then cut them in half and took out the inside, and that's what I have here. And what I did was I took my pastry blender and I went around and crushed all of the potato into very small little pieces, just like that. And I'll just go around and you can see that. So there we go. So that's step number one. And this potato was, was also cooled, okay? So that's cooled potato that I had in there. Okay, so that's step number one. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get an egg into our potato mixture here. Well, now it's a mixture. And I've got my handy blender. I'm gonna mix that in. And what we're making are potato balls, which we're gonna fry later on. And so we wanna have a mixture that's going to be able to hold together pretty well. So we don't want to have it very, very loose. We want a, a mixture that's going to be able to form a ball but not fall apart. So let's mix this up. I will add a little bit of milk. And because potatoes are always a different size, there are no you know, real set measurements. I'm just going to use two tablespoons here, so I am going to measure it for this recipe here. Here we go. We'll get that incorporated. Now, since we have loosened this up quite, you know, quite a bit, we're going to have to stiffen this and we're going to use some flour to do that. All right, that's good. At this point, We'll hit this with a little bit of pepper. So I've got some black pepper here. We'll just get a little bit of black pepper in there. That's good. Hit it with a little bit of salt. There we go. And we'll get a tablespoon and another tablespoon of all-purpose flour. And we'll give that a little mix. So what we're trying to establish now is a, a mixture that's going to hold well together. But I don't want it really rigid so that it's going to be dried out. I want to have it still moist inside when we fry it. So I can see that's very, very wet still. We can grab our a fork and just go here and you can see that it's, it's very, very wet still. So I'm going to add a little bit more flour. So that's three, and that's a total of four in there now. So we'll incorporate that. When I am doing this recipe, I don't measure it out, I just do it by eye. But since this is a video recipe, I want to be a little bit more accurate. And that looks much better. So if I take a spoon and put it together, and just see if we can get a shape out of this. So you can see that I can, you know, we can mold that. What I think I am gonna do is put in another little bit of flour. So that'll make five. And a total of six. And now you can see it really binding together. You can also hear my mixer is working a little harder. That's giving you a good indication. You know that this mix is stiffening up. And now I'm happy with it. I can see the, key, the consistency of it is just where I want it. So that's a total of six tablespoons of flour. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to create our little balls. So let's get our breading station ready. 
So I have a couple of eggs and I also have some panko breadcrumbs. All right, we'll just whisk this up. And if you have your little mixer still hanging around, you can just remove one of the things, the beaters, and just put it on there and just give it a little spin if you want. Whatever tickles your fancy. There we go. Okay, great. All right, I've just zoomed out a little bit so we can see a little bit better. And what I have here, we have our two eggs, which are beaten, and we have panko breadcrumbs here. If you don't have panko breadcrumbs, you can use Italian breadcrumbs. So we're gonna grab, I have a little ice cream scoop here. Just grab a little bit. There we go like that. And I'm just gonna go like this. And if it doesn't come out very well, just give it a little, a little bit of help right into the egg. Just mix that around in the egg, just like that. Bring it out into the panko breadcrumbs. Give it a little spin. Grab another fork. Flip it around. And there we go. There's our first one and that is ready for the fryer. So I'll get that one down over here. Let's do that process again. Ice cream scoop. Get it right in there. Beautiful. Get it completely covered. Pop it out right into the panko. Grab my fork. If you don't use a fork or something like this, your fingers are gonna get extremely thick. You're going to have to keep washing them. So it's good to use a utensil. So there we go. Make sure it's completely covered. And there is our second little potato ball ready for the fryer. I'll do one more. Just give it a little bit of help. Get it in here. And there we go. Just make sure it's nicely coated into the breadcrumbs. Let's get it covered. And there we go. Now if you're not going to do these right away, you can leave them on your tray or put them onto a plate and pop them in the fridge until you're ready to use them. There we go. Okay. And there is number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do maybe another three or four or five. I'll get them ready. I'm going to actually put mine in the fridge for about a half an hour just to chill down a little bit. Then I'm going to set up my fryer. We'll come back and we'll finish off the video. All right, so I have made a few more. I could probably get another one or two out of here, but I'm not going to bother for this video. So here we have them and they are ready for the fryer. So I'm going to relocate my camera over near the stove and the fryer. So come on over and meet me there. Thanks for joining me at the stove. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pop all of our little potato croquettes in here. I've got four of them for this batch. We'll just pop those right in and we'll get those going in our fryer. So once you get them in, you want to give them a little shake so that they don't stick to the bottom of your little pan. And we will just let those go until they're golden brown. So I'll let that go and we'll see how long it takes. I want them really, really nice and golden brown, just like french fries. So we'll let that go and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, this is about three minutes later. And look at this. Don't those look amazing? Oh, we'll just put that there and just let those drain off. I'll zoom in a little bit. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, those look amazing. Really, really nice and a nice crunch on the outside. You can actually hear the crunch. Really, really, really nice. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the rest of these and I'll show you all the finished product when I get back. So this is done. Always unplug your fryer so you don't forget. And there we go. So let's bring our little plate over. And look at that. Oh, these are amazing. So let's head back over to our preparation area. All right, so here are my finished potato caquette, and look at that. Oh, they smell so good. So let's grab one of them, and I'll just show you. First of all, listen how crunchy that is. Can you hear that? And let's just break right into it, and look at this. Oh, yum. Really, really nice. You can mix up some nice sour cream with some chives or anything that you want. You could use a little bit of creamy salad dressing or some kind of yogurt, but there we go. Or maybe even tzatziki. Oh, but anyway, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are my potato coquettes, and that's it for now, so I'll see you next time.